What are some of the difficulties that an incoming administration is going to face in terms of just simply public perception as it relates to China and also uh, the way the Chinese operate and how different that is from the United States? Well, let's first talk about how different the Chinese are from the United States. Um, This is a country that doesn't have a free press. This is a country that has uh, gone out of its way to make sure that it presents a single story. Um, And in the case of COVID-19, that single story is, we did everything right, it probably didn't even start here, and uh, believe it or not, in a nation of 1.3 billion people, according to the Chinese, there have been only about 87,000 cases and only about 4,700 deaths. Now, if you ask me, that is one whopper set of whoppers to swallow. Um, And in order to uphold these claims, the Chinese are prepared to jail anybody who contradicts them. And that's the case uh, with Ms. Zhang. Um, So one of the most important things for Americans to recognize is that the information that we get from China, you want to talk about fake news, that's fake news. You want to talk about disinformation, not misinformation, which might be a mistake, but disinformation, which is often rooted in deception. This is what we are talking about. Now, how does this challenge a Biden administration? Um, It challenges in part because there are many people who actually believe the Chinese figures. It's amazing to me how many people will say, Look at China. They had fewer cases in the United States. And you have to just ask yourself, do you really believe that? And why? Uh, Is it because you believe the Chinese statistics? Or is it that you believe that 1.3 billion people will have a fraction of the number of cases that 330 million Americans have suffered? Um, it's, you know, and from there, you then have the other issue, which is, do you call out the Chinese for issuing such, frankly, you know, um, hard to believe numbers? Um, because the Chinese have no problem tying things together. If you give me a hard time about COVID, I will hurt you when it comes to economics, which the Chinese have done. I will, uh, threaten various uh, allies such as Australia, which the Chinese have done. If you push for a WHO investigation, not only will we stymie you, not only will we try and manipulate the WHO to not even try and do this, but we will basically pick at your friends and allies to try and suck them away. So for a Biden administration, they're going to have to really do a gut check pretty early on. Do you really want to work with a China that behaves this way? And can you work with a China that behaves this way? Um, And you need to be pretty clear-eyed about this, not sort of, oh, well, but if we all just come together because this is a global pandemic, we'll all work together. Um, The cyber espionage against the various pharmaceutical firms to steal that information should tell you how little cooperation there is from some quarters. Uh, when it comes to facing a global pandemic. Important questions for an incoming administration to ask. Always appreciate your analysis on this and have appreciated it throughout the pandemic as many of these questions continue to change and stay the same. Dean Chang, a senior research fellow at the Heritage Foundation. Dean, thanks again for your time. Thank you and happy new year to you and yours. <laughs>